Hey everybody, it's Jason from Frank's Homestead. And uh, sorry I haven't posted much lately, but uh, I've been trying to get geared up for winter plowing. And we got a little bit last night. And today is what, uh, uh, December 5th already, my gosh. And uh, this year I get to bring my grader home. I took a drive this morning, checked the upper part of the mountain, and uh, we had over three inches plus up there. So I'm just gonna go skim the top off. Uh, it's uh, Sunday, so go clean that off for all the local people driving it and uh, make it safer. So I got uh, my John Deere 772 BH. It's an older one, but it doesn't leak any oils or anything else. It's in good shape. It's got six wheel drive, it's got the front chained up. Still waiting on my snow plow. It's getting uh, some work done on it. And then I'll have a plow on it. It's a 14 foot. Um, got my ice bits. These are one style ice bits that you put on for cutting the ice on the roads. And of course, got the rear tires all chained up. And then, of course, I've got my wing. My wing. Won't need that today. I'm just ripping a pass up and down for basically 28 foot of road opened up. I head down the road, it's about a mile and a half before I start cutting, so I'll get to that point here in a bit. This can be nice in the winter, because uh, even though I have a four-wheeler with a blade, I'll be able to plow my way out of my driveway so it'll open up just in case more needs to get out, which is going to be kind of nice. It saves so much time rather than having to drive, you know, a half hour into work over the ice snow covered roads when I can just leave from my house and just start cutting the roads and opening them up. It's going to save a lot of time. You can see the roads aren't too bad down here in the lower elevations. Gravel poking through. It's going to be a sunny day before the next round gets here. The next one's supposed to be four to six inches. I think we'll get that pretty much everywhere. But uh, enough traction here. I'm not going to worry about it doing anything with this. It's hard to cut when you only got a half inch on the road anyway. It didn't do more damage than anything. Well, I never officially figured out exactly how many miles I had. But I believe I've got about uh, 25, 26 miles of road to do. Some of them are real easy, they're in and out. Some are a four pass to clear it properly. And uh, it's gonna take some time. If we get a full snow and it gets on all my roads, then if we're looking at a probably 14 to 16 hour day to get them all cleared off. And then if it doesn't snow, the next day you can go back and open up the road a little bit more. The hardest part about doing snow removal is you get some people that just get real impatient with you. They think that you shouldn't be in their way, but you're trying to get a job done. And it just, you know, it gets frustrating for everybody. Because we want you to get out of the way so we can clear the road for you and do it safely but they want us to get out of the road you know a 40 foot plus machine and they want us to get out of the road and make room for them sometimes we want to run them over that probably doesn't sound right but especially at the end of a long long snow removal shift and people are trying to get to work or something you've been up all night and you've put in a 18 hour day plus working at your regular job Crazy. It's kind of hard to see probably, but up there on top is where we're headed. So this corner here is where we're going to start. Roll my blend bit forward a bit. And I don't have anything to really work with as far as holding my GoPro, but I'll do my best. Put the left side in flow mode. To start with, all I'm trying to do is just scrape it up, bring a little bit of that dirt forward, and I 
my rock up the bottom underneath it and just stir it up a little bit. Don't want to get too carried away. We all roll all of our rock off. Even down here, it's not too bad as far as depth wise. But uh, up on top, it was a good three inches of snow. I know if I was in a little car, I'd have a hard time getting past some of this. Now, like I said, this is uh, another guy's side, but if I'm going up, I might as well cut it. Help a brother out. A little bit of ice here, so let's throw in our six front wheel drive. Put it all in flow, that ain't gonna work. That side. Oh, that's pretty hard stuff, but I'll that's some hard stuff. Harder than I thought it would be. So it looks like we got a pretty good cut going now. <clears throat> And uh, I'm just trying to cut the top off without too much gravel and that way um, with the sun out it'll it'll work out real good it'll help melt that <clears throat> expose a little bit of gravel but it's absolutely beautiful I mean here we are up here on top of this mountain grade the road and it's just absolutely beautiful not a cloud in the sky it's cold it's cold but I, I hope that you find it, this uh, video a little bit informative, kind of what it's like to be on the roads department <clears throat> and uh, <clears throat> maintaining roads and snow plowing, making sure people can get where they need to go safely. And uh, sorry, I'm adjusting as I'm going here. But uh, I also want to tell everybody happy uh, holidays, Merry Christmas, and Happy New Year. Uh, have a safe rest of the year and uh, I look forward to making more videos in 2022 and uh, thank you to all my subscribers I appreciate every one of you uh, and I hope to do you right and proud by creating more content that, that you want to see if you have any ideas let me know I appreciate it until next time have a great winter.